Hello and welcome to PassKit. Today, I'll walk you through the simple steps to create your very own digital membership card in just a few clicks. Whether you're running a gym, a community or a loyalty program, digital membership cards offer a convenient and modern solution for your members. Before we get started, you can sign up for a 45-day free trial with PassKit to test all the features for yourself. It's the perfect way to see how digital membership cards can work for your business with no commitment required. Once you have signed up with PassKit, you'll be able to see the dashboard. To start creating a digital membership card, you will need to press Create New. As we are creating a digital membership card, the most suitable option is the basic membership pass. We also have a pre-made gym pass for you to try out and test as well. Okay, choose Basic Membership and click Create Pass. You will see the pass and two types of wallets at the top, Google Wallet and Apple Wallet. On the left-hand side, the first option we have is the Add Item section. This is where you can drag and drop details onto the pass. You will see your current items in your pass. The next drop-down allows you to add links, dynamic fields and static fields. The next section is Theme. This is where you can add your logo, profile images, and customize the design of the pass to reflect your brand's identity. We have options to change the background color, title, and text of your pass. Finally, we have the barcode options for your customers to scan. You can choose between QR code, Aztec, PDF 417, and code 128. You'll have options to add text below your preferred barcode and also input coded content. If you are looking to use NFC technology, then you can also implement this. Below the details, you will see options to add applications, automate updates, and allow notifications. If you would like to place information on the back of a digital membership pass, you can do so by drag and dropping items to the bottom of the details. Remember to make sure that you also edit the Google Wallet section to your preferred style. With Google Wallet, the profile image is located at the bottom and the QR code has a shimmer effect around it. I am now going to place the items to my preferred location. The information box will stay on the back of the pass. Before we start designing our pass, I would like to show you some settings that you can change. You can change the template name. Provide a description of the template change the time zone to your location, and set your preferred language. We also have specific options for the Google Wallet and the Apple Wallet. We are now going back to the Designs section. Here we can add other designs that will be assigned to your tiers. We can change the name of the tiers based on the type of membership your customers are on, the time zone of your tier, and when your tier will expire, here you can set up GPS location-based notifications where your customer will be sent a notification if they are within that area. You can also embed beacons in your passes. When customers are near the beacon, they will be sent an instant message. Now we're going to look at the Members section. This is where you will see all of your members on the particular program. Here you can add members manually, or you can import a CSV file of all of your members at one time. This would be the preferred choice if you have a lot of members to add. We are now going to the Distribution tab. This is where you can set up your welcome email with a link to adding a live pass. You can edit the subject of the email content, and the color scheme.
Let's go back to the distribution tab and we will also see a choice to choose the enrollment options where you can create an enrollment form for your customers to fill out. If you press edit, you'll be directed to a distribution form editor. Here you can arrange your form with information that will be on the pass. The editor is similar to editing your pass, you will have options for items, color scheme design with custom CS, and also a password protection if needed. Finally, we will go to the settings tab. This is where you can change your program name. Other important settings like points and member event data retention. Integrations with other systems like Zapier or MailChimp. Webhooks to receive real-time updates to changes in your pass. Pass APIs to link your project to third-party apps. And smart pass links. OK. Let's start creating a membership card. We will add our logo first. Make sure when you add your logo that you use the correct dimensions. You have a choice of square or rectangle logo size. You can use Photoshop or Image App to help you readjust your dimensions. Next, we will add the profile image. This will be updated with the user's image when you distribute the pass to them. Finally, we will change the colors of the background, title, and text. You can use either the drop-down colors and drag across. As I know the hex code of my design, I'm going to type in the assigned color. The text color will show up when you distribute the pass. This is why it's good to send the pass to your Apple or Google wallet so you can see the changes. Any updates to the pass will show in real time. Now we're going to put the information that we want in the pass. First, I'm going to drag and drop the name to the left side next to the photo image. I would like to keep the tier membership where it is. Tier memberships can be set up in the settings and we will complete this in later. I would now like to add an expiry date and then a member status. If you would like to add other fields that are not shown on advanced fields, you can go to the custom field section. Dynamic fields are used to display data that is different for each pass. A static field is used to display data that will be the same for all passes. I'm going to choose the QR code option and now make sure I'm happy with everything on my pass. Remember, we also need to check the Google Wallet. The logo dimensions are different from the Apple Pass, so make sure this is correct. If you would like to change the title of items, you can go click and edit the label section as shown. Looks like we are ready to start distributing our pass. Make sure to check the information you have is correct, and we can now look to testing our pass on our phone. Let's go back to the design screen. I have created a gold tier gym membership as an example. You design this tier the same way as we have done with the base membership. You can also edit the settings for this tier as well. For this base membership, I have set the expiry date till 90 days after the start of the membership, but you can choose your own preference. Now we will go to the Members section, where we can add a member manually as an example. You will be able to choose which membership tier the customer is on. You can also add points to the membership. Fill in all of the details of your customer. Once you have done this, you can add a photo image that will be embedded in the membership pass, but this is optional.
press add image and you will return to the member section Now to send the pass, you will need to click Other Actions and click Pass Earl. This will direct you to a link where the customer can scan and add their live pass. Let's take a look at what the digital membership card looks like on the Google and Apple Wallet.